Why, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am back with a DVD camera to make a video of another DVD camera. It's absolutely no secret, and it certainly should be absolutely no secret, that I hate these things, these DVD cameras in general, because it just does not seem like a very robust format. And even forgetting all of the problems with the format itself, finalizing RW discs being a big one, because it makes no sense, the cameras themselves seem extremely fragile. I had that DCR DVD 403, it still works, but it was the only one of the three that I originally had that did. I had a Canon DC100, it completely failed. I had the SCDX103, which, you know, I'm using one of those to record this, but this is actually the second one of these that I got. Uh, the first one, even though the camera worked, uh, there was a problem with the charging port on the back, it broke. So, now you might say, oh, well, that's a problem with a lot of different cameras. So what? It lends itself to the fact that it's fragile. But I figured I might as well diversify my uh, arrangement. I tried to buy another Canon DC100 because it was suggested to me that that was one of the better ones. However, the second one that I got also didn't work right out of the box. So that was kind of pathetic. What I have here is a Hitachi model. This is with 16 times optical zoom. Let's see if it says somewhere on it. I thought that it did. There it is. It's on the back. Model DZ-MV730A. Now, I did get the battery for this. It is actually charging right now. And the battery, I have to say, is kind of a piece of crap. Uh, it doesn't last very long at all. Although it's worth noting. Okay, we're back with a different battery in this camera, the SCDX103, and a different uh, DVD, because the other DVD, when I finalized it, uh, caused a glitch and basically destroyed that DVD. So again, added to the list of strikes against this crappy format, but I was in the process of complaining about the battery on this and how it didn't last more than 15 minutes. Well, these DVDs are only good for, I mean, this says 30 minutes. This camcorder I'm using says 20 minutes. And this, I think, is less than that. So, I don't know, maybe it makes sense to only have a 15-minute battery in that case. But uh, irrespective of that, we have the camera itself here. And I'm redoing this, so now i got to go through the whole thing again. It's a DVD cam. You see the controls there, 16 times optical zoom. On the front here, in addition to the microphone, there is also the AV output and a microphone input. It's kind of nice to see. No idea if it's powered or not. I kind of doubt it. Most of these are not. Viewfinder, disc eject, because of course this has a mechanical, or sorry, an electronic disc eject, like they all do, which I don't really understand why. It says Digital Versatile Disc, which I find hilarious because that's not actually what DVD stands for. It stands for, stands for Digital Video Disc. But, you know, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. High quality video and photo recording. That's well, still standard definition. But at least it'll do widescreen. I guess it's got that going for it. So, anyway. This will take an SD card. You can see there, if we open up the screen. There is an SD card slot on this. However, you got to remember that this thing was designed at a time when SD cards were only, you know, a couple megabytes in size. So you're not going to get good video quality onto the SD card because they didn't set it up such that you'd get good quality on the SD card. In fact, I think this camera I'm using now will only let you take photos because it would make no sense. You know, on a 16 megabyte card, you'd get like two seconds of video. What's the point, right? Anyway. More controls there. This isn't a touch screen or anything like that, of course. It's got the little... I guess you'd call it a joystick? I don't know. But uh, it's got that control there for operating this, uh, this screen. Although I don't even think that it does. Maybe it does. I don't know. I haven't experimented too much with the menus on this. So I got the camera. I got this carrying case with it. Which, funny enough, is actually a Sony carrying case. I found that kind of amusing. 
Almost looks like this would have gone with one of those sports cameras. Which, I didn't know they made those in DVD format, but, you know, there it is. I got a DVD. There's a DVD minus R disc in here, which I'm in the process of using up because, well, there's no real point in wasting any space on that. Once you use it, it's done. So I'll use up all the space on that, and then that'll be the end of that. I got the battery. I mentioned I got the battery, and then I got this. This is actually supposed to go to a charger, an aftermarket charger that I did not get, even though it was included in the listing. So somebody had one job there. I was of half a mind at first to complain about it, but given the camera works, because it does, I've already shot some test video, and I'm going to finish shooting the test video after I'm done with this. Since the camera works, I guess I don't really care that much. The camera was really what I was after. And the battery is actually the same as the Panasonic batteries. So I could just charge it on that charger and there's no real problem. So, I guess in conclusion, I'll go ahead and I'll shut this off. I'll switch over to this. So, I'll be right back, thanks to the magic of video editing. I'm telling you what, folks, they have really gone out of their way. All manufacturers have gone out of the way to make these DVD cameras impossible to use. Watch this. So I finished recording everything on this. And now I want to go and finalize the disc. Somebody's going to tell me, oh, well, it makes sense to do it this way. And maybe it does. I won't say that they're wrong. But it's the only camera that does this, and it's really difficult to work around when you can't actually buy the pieces for these anymore. So what I'm going to do, I'll come into the menu... And in fact, this thing up here is a joystick. I want to finalize. So we come over here, we go to finalize disc, we hit the play button, and then it tells us to use the AC adapter. Really? All of the other DVD cameras that I have in my possession do not require you to use the AC adapter. So I'm sorry, but that's a stupid limitation. And there's got to be a way to work around it. So I guess when I figure out how I'm going to work around it, or when I actually find the umbilical cord for this Canon, or Canon, this Panasonic uh, AC adapter, I'm sure it's sitting around here somewhere, then we'll get to see the video from this. But holy crap! Alright. We are trying out another DVD camera. This is a Hitachi model. And let's see. What is the actual model number on this? I think this is a uh, DZ-M730A DVD camera. What I'm actually using right now is a DVD-R disc, so I can't reuse this disc. So hopefully this video turns out. That the camera is actually working. I have no reason to believe that it's not. So far it seems to be pretty well behaved. Much better than the Canon that I have tried in the past. So my, uh, when I started recording with this, or when I put the disc in and formatted it, it made the notion, or it made the uh, statement that I cannot change 16x9 mode or the video quality once I uh, have started recording. So it'll be kind of interesting to see if that's actually true. So as it turns out, it's not lying. You can't change those settings after it's been set. I tried to change the video quality and it just gave me an error message. So, not that I'm terrifically surprised, when you consider the way that these are supposed to be used, that kind of makes sense. You're supposed to play them back on a, a video device. There's no fades, there's no 
video effects or anything like that. It's a really basic model. And I'm using a, a DVD minus R disc for this. So this disc is not reusable once I'm done. So I'm going to have to find a way to record 19 minutes worth of video onto this. Because I'd like to actually make use of the entire disc. Shooting some outdoor video here on a pretty cold night. You get an idea for how this thing does in low-ish light. I think my all right, recording again. Here you can see the SCDX103 that I was using. A little bit of lighter footage, I guess, just more light to work with. So I got about four minutes left on this, uh, three minutes now, left on this particular DVD, so I'm going to have to use that all up. Hopefully I can. But I think I've covered pretty much all my bases here. With respect to this thing. So I don't really think I need to worry about it talked about all the features that it's got. Touch this exposure button. That's manual exposure. Put it back to auto. There's focus, manual focus. This doesn't have a focus ring or anything like that, so I'm not really sure how exactly you'd get that to work, if that's what this plus and minus is for. Yeah, that's what this plus and minus is for. And normally the volume button will be used for that. Put that back into manual autofocus. Backlight compensation, which does what you think it would do. Actually, it stays on. That's odd. Usually it doesn't. It does have a quick menu, but I don't think you can access the menu while you're recording. Nope. Shoot some outdoor video here. See how this thing does. I have two minutes left on this DVD. So when it stops, it stops. I'm going to use up all those two minutes for this video. So it does mean that this video won't be any more than two minutes longer <laughs> for anybody. But uh, anyway. The thing I noticed about this camera is that the low light sensitivity is particularly poor. It really does have extraordinarily bad low light sensitivity. I'm not really 100% sure why. I also kind of wonder if it's correct about the amount of time remaining on the desk. But, uh, yeah.
Thanks for watching. And if you've got comments, feel free to leave them below. I don't know if it'll stop when it hits zero, or if it'll give me an extra minute. It's been a little chilly out here. I'm surprised at how cold it is. I mean, it hasn't been this cold in a long time. There are some extra features. I have them turned off. Like the digital zoom and such. I have no use for digital zoom. That was almost right in time. <laughs> it says disk almost full, but it's still going. We'll see when it stops. Looks like it gives me an extra minute. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's a good thing to do, point it right in the sun.